Breaking news now. Iranian workers are poor. The poverty line in Iran is 35 million tomans, 457 pounds, per month, yet the daily minimum salary is $4, 3 pounds and 14 pence. The Majlis, Iranian Parliament, Research Center reports that Iran's poverty rate has risen from 19% to above 30% in the past decade. Between 2018 and 2020, Iran's absolute poverty rate increased from 15% to 30%. Workers below the absolute poverty level have increased fivefold throughout the same period. Workers' pay were already low and barely covered food costs before the early April spike in Middle East tensions between Iran and Israel and the dollar's rise. The dramatic decrease in the national currency's value versus the U.S. dollar has devalued workers' paychecks, leaving their tables and shopping baskets empty. The daily minimum pay for workers in 1403, 2024-25, is 238,873 tomans or $4, after lengthy negotiations without worker representatives. Many workers earn this base salary daily. Workers cannot exist on 239,000 tomans. This daily pay cannot buy 500 g of red meat. After Iran's military attack on Israel, the national currency fell against the U.S. dollar again. On April 16, the open market dollar reached 670,000 rials by late evening. These conditions make 238,000 tomans for day laborers worth $3.50, £2.74. Ali Reza Karami, a labor activist and member of the Islamic Labor Council at Polyacral Isfahan, told the Iranian labor news agency, ILNA, that workers' earnings have the lowest purchasing power in Supreme Labor Council history. Before the current events and the dollar's exchange rate hike, workers' incomes were paltry and barely covered basic food bills. Since the dollar exchange rate has risen, the extraordinary decline in salaries has emptied workers' tables and left nothing in their shopping baskets. We don't know why every Iranian administration attacks workers' empty dining tables. Other salary tiers comprise specialists and experienced workers, whose earnings have increased 22% this year. In March alone, several goods and services prices rose more than 30%, while last year's inflation was at least 50%. In fact, household basket inflation has been 70 to 80% since March 2023. However, salary growth for skilled workers, the national capital and economic engine, have been only 22%. Are they going to talk about building families and having children or criticize why skilled professionals are single and compelled to migrate? Qualified workers can earn more than $3 or $4 a day in any country they relocate to, Karami said. A pro-neoliberal regime. Karami claims that economic shocks during the early 1990s have deprived workers of homes and home ownership. Home ownership has been a fantasy for years, and now workers want a modest car. Owning a pride, model of car popular in Iran, is a desire harder to reach via hard labor. In late March 2024, the Ministry of Labor authorized 2024 salary without details. Even government-controlled workers' representatives in the negotiations did not sign the Supreme Labor Council meeting minutes and demanded higher wages. Since the government and employer representative's signature and the Minister of Labor's permission were enough to make the salary and wage decision official, the Ministry of Labor proclaimed it as effective from Noruz, the Iranian New Year. Workers' base monthly income rose from 5,485,226 tomans to 7,405,568, 97 pounds, in 2024. The pace slip shows the basic rate in labor contracts, although this is not the total amount due to workers. The Harsh Reality of Iranian Poverty A former head of the Social Security Research Center said that official statistics show that Iran's poverty rate has doubled and that the number of workers below the poverty line has increased fivefold. Farshad Momeni, a famous economist, indicated in March 2024 that 30% of Iran's population lives below the poverty level with another 40% at risk due to weak salary purchasing power policies. Since 1988, the Islamic Republic has promoted combating poverty through its free market economy and neoliberalism, 
but experts say its economic policies have worsened the situation. Former President Ebrahim Raisi, who died in a helicopter crash in May, committed to remove absolute poverty by 2022. According to a 2023 Tejarat newspaper report, one-third of the population lives below the absolute poverty threshold, despite these pledges. All available statistics show a rising poverty crisis in Iran and the need for effective and durable remedies. Despite government assurances that poverty is under control, accessible information, including government reports, shows growing poverty in Iran. This highlights the enormous mismatch between meaningless official slogans and Iranians' chronic poverty. Between 2018 and 2020, Iran's absolute poverty rate increased from 15% to 30%. Workers below the absolute poverty level have increased fivefold throughout the same period. Poverty now affects employed people. Narcotics addiction and misuse, as well as hepatitis and HIV, are becoming more common among Iranian laborers. Males aged 20 to 30 in Iranian cities have the highest suicide rate among all demographics. Most analysts and professionals feel Iran's economic policies have accelerated and worsened poverty. Former President Raisi promised to remove absolute poverty by 2021, yet it's worsening. The Majlis Research Center reports that Iran's poverty rate has risen from 19% to above 30% in the past decade. 